in this lesson, we're going to talk about different ways of representing different amounts of money with coins and dollar bills. And here are our symbols. The P stands for a penny or one cent. Another way to write one cent is with the dollar sign and with the 0 0.01. That's another way of writing it. The nickel represents five cents. And you can write it as the dollar sign, 0 0.05. The dime represents 10 cents, which can be written as 0 0.10. And the quarter represents 25 cents, which can be written as dollar bill, 0 0.25. Now the dollar represents one dollar. Okay, so let's go ahead. First example, we want to represent seven cents. Now there are different ways that we can represent seven cents. We can use seven pennies. Each penny is worth one cent, so it's basically adding one plus one plus one all the way to seven. We can use a nickel and two pennies, five plus one, six plus one, seven. Now, let's represent 12 cents. We can use 12 pennies. And another way is we can use two nickels, five plus five equals 10. And then you add two pennies to that to get 12. Another way is we can use a dime, which is worth 10 cents, and add two pennies to that, and that'll give us 12 cents. We can also use a nickel and seven pennies, and this will also give us 12 cents. So we have four different ways that we can represent 12 cents. Let's move on to the next example. Let's represent 55 cents. We can start off with quarters. Quarters are worth 25 cents. So 25 plus 25 will give us 50. And then we add five more pennies to give us 55. Another way is to use two quarters and a nickel, which also gives us 55. The nickel is the same as five pennies. Let's use another method. We can use a quarter and three dimes. A quarter plus three dimes will give us 55. So we have 25, 35, 45 and 55. All right, let's move on up to a bigger amount of money. $2.41. We'll start off by using our dollars. So we want to get the $2 out of the way. So $2 bills will give us $2. And now let's represent our coins. We can use four dimes and one penny. That'll give us 10, 20, 30, 40, and 41. So we have $2.41. We can also use a quarter, a dime, that gives us 35 cents. A nickel, 35 plus 5 is 40. And we add a penny to that to give us 41 cents.